It might not sound like it, but green anoles and brown anoles are very similar in many ways. They both accompany the same range in habitat and are very common throughout where they live. They are both small, skittish lizards with a long, lean body and tail, making them quite difficult to catch. Despite these similarities, there are several ways to tell the difference between these two species. The brown anole, Anolus sagrae, is also called the Bahaman anole because they are native to Cuba and the Bahamas, and it is invasive to the southeastern U.S., where they are very common, even in urban and suburban areas. They are often seen basking on the ground, especially near the base of trees and brush, so they can easily avoid predation by escaping higher into the vegetation. The green anole, Anolus carolinensis, is also called the Florida chameleon. They are native to the southeastern U.S., being most common in Florida, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and eastern Texas. However, they can also be found in the southern parts of North Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, and even Oklahoma. From my observations, they didn't seem to be as common in the more urban areas, but instead in the swamps where there was plenty of water and high vegetation to climb in. Not surprisingly, the brown anole is always brown. They can change to darker or lighter shades of brown, depending on their mood and the surrounding light and temperature. The green anole, however, may be green or brown. It is green when it's relaxed, but they can quickly turn brown when they're stressed. They also often turn brown while basking in order to absorb more heat. This slight color changing ability is what gives them the name Florida chameleon, since it is similar to the true chameleons of Africa. Although they can turn brown to look like the brown anole, they always have a white chin, and the brown anole does not. Another big distinction between the brown anole and the green anole is that the brown anole has a mottled pattern. They can have a large variety of spotted, speckled, and striped patterns. The green anole, on the other hand, has a plainer, more solid coloration. It's either all one shade of green or all one shade of brown, though I have noticed that they occasionally may have a very slight pattern of small black spots on their back. The green anole has a longer head and jaws, while the brown anole has a shorter head and jaws. Males of both species have a dorsal crest running down their back. The brown anoles have a much more prominent dorsal crest than the green anoles. They also have more serrated, flatter tails, while the green anole has a rounder and smoother tail. In the green anoles, the dewlap is either all pink or all red. But in the brown anoles, it is a mix of red, orange, and yellow. An aggressive one might even turn their dewlap black. And by the way, a dewlap is the flap of skin beneath their neck that they use to attract females during the breeding season or to indicate their territorial boundaries. Although the invasive and aggressive brown anoles may climb high to escape predators, they are terrestrial and live on or close to the ground, forcing the green anoles to be more arboreal and live higher up in the tall brush and trees. The anoles are probably the most common reptile in the southeastern U.S., and if you ever see any of these interesting lizards, you now know how to tell which is which.